Okay, so another small YouTuber, The Gold Man, posted a video not too long ago. If you don't know who he is, he's a guy who likes to Star Wars sequels, like a bunch of other people. But he, in my opinion, is one of the better sequel defenders. His Ray is not a Mary Sue video is very well thought out. I mean, it's a hundred times better than the bullshit Cosmonaut was spewing out in defense of Ray. So when I saw that he made a wanting the Star Wars sequels to be decanonized as selfish video, I thought nothing of it. I watched the video, and good points honestly, but the video was way too short. I really hate short discussion videos in general, because there's no way you can properly convey an opinion like this in less than 5 minutes. So I feel the video was a little thrown together in less than an hour. I think you should remake the video and try to be at least half an hour long. So it's not the actual video itself I have an issue with. Personally, I'd rather someone fix the sequels through a side story and try to make haters like me have a new appreciation for the sequels. I have a fan fiction in my head for a Republic Commando reboot, where they essentially make it a trilogy. First game is set during the Clone Wars, second game, Imperial Commando, is set during the Reign of the Empire, and third, Remnant Commando is set during the sequel era. The reason I wanted to make this video is because of something he said alongside the video. You see, on Twitter, he gave this statement in regard to his video. He said, and I quote, Why is decanonizing the sequel selfish when Disney already decanonized the EU? Because the EU was never canon. Therefore, it cannot be decanonized. And to that, I say, that's wrong. It's totally a valid point to bring up. Disney decanonized the expanded universe just so they could steal from it and pass it off as a new product. Now, the first thing to disprove this statement is Disney themselves, the decanonizers. They said that the EU would no longer be canon, which is proof that it was at one point canon. Why would they need to refer to the new canon as the new canon if there wasn't an old canon? People like Pablo Escobar Hidalgo, in fact, are hypocrites when it comes to this sort of stuff. Not only should this idiot be fired for the way he interacts with fans, but he's in denial about the EU. He himself, before the Lucasfilm purchase, referenced the EU constantly when people asked him questions in the Star Wars Insider magazine. But nowadays, he keeps on spouting lies about how the EU was never canon. People may then point to George Lucas and now he never believed in the EU. Okay, just because he said that the EU was not his canon doesn't mean he didn't believe in it. In many of the special edition changes of the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy on its own, there are a shit ton of references to the EU. For example, Ayla Secura did not originate from Attack of the Clones, but rather a comic book not written by George Lucas. The EU was like a companion to George Lucas canon. Before Disney murdered the EU in cold blood, there was a canon hierarchy which proves the EU was canon. It wasn't as canon as the films, but it was still canon, meaning that it did happen in the universe to a degree. George Lucas was quite active in EU stories, as he often gave ideas such as the Force Unleashed projects. Behind the scenes videos confirm this. The writers gave George Lucas their ideas, and George Lucas would give his own input. Plus, everything had to go through George Lucas. With the ambitious ideas of the Force Unleashed, it absolutely had to make it past George. That means Darth Vader having an apprentice, said apprentice creating the rebellion, and other big plot points that you bet your fucking ass George approved it. So there you go. It was selfish of Disney to decanonize the EU, and especially what they did after. Either recanonizing shit, or worse, copying and pasting things so they could pretend that they came up with it in the first place. And you know, if they wanted to make a new canon, they could have at least had the fucking decency to continue the old one alongside the new one. Therefore, everyone is happy. And it's not just this, it's literally every big decision Disney has made that probably contributed to the hatred many have for Disney. Disney decanonizing the EU, Disney giving the exclusive gaming license to EA of all companies for six years, until recently that is, ripping off EU material, disrespecting the original creator, shitting out cash grabs like Solo A Star Wars Story, among other things, have probably influenced many people's perception of the franchise. 
I guarantee you, if the only issue was that the sequel sucked and the rest of the franchise was thriving, there would be far less negativity. So that's my case against Goldman's statement. It's incorrect. The EU was canon, and George had plenty to do with it. So yes, it was selfish for Disney to decanonize the EU, to wipe the slate clean, and rip it off with plagiarized dumpster fires. 99 times out of 100, the ripoff is always worse. I'm JJ Plagiarisms, and until next time, what are stories but mystery boxes? Water was running. Yeah.